Good evening. I wrap sting with your metal market wrap up, and this wrap up is for the evening of Thursday, the 29th of December, 2022. Yeah, this is going to be the last time that I think I do one of these. Well, maybe not. Maybe the weekend reviews will be uh, what I do uh, in 2022. But we're pretty much through with the markets now. I, a word of advice uh, with my five decades of trading: trading at this time of the year is folly. Trying to catch these moves, they move out of nowhere for no reason. You've got year-end squaring up on books, lighter volume typically. The markets overreact because the big pros, they're not going to trade right now. They're going to step back. People will move back into the markets and establish what they want to do starting right after January 1st. And that is where I also step back in. So right now, you know, I look at the markets in a very few positions, if any. Be very selective. That would be my best advice to you. Don't try to make something out of nothing. But use this time, and you should have used it over Christmas and so on to learn. One of the things I tell you to learn is there's a tool that I developed that I think is the best tool I've ever done. It is the Enhanced Bollinger Band course, the combination of Bollinger Bands, slow stochastics, all the rules for when a band is hit, what to do, when a band locks in, what to do. It gives you the whole thing. At the end of this, I created an ad. Please take a look up at it and take advantage of it for this year. When we look at the gold market, we are up 1.5% now going into Friday trade, and we're already in Friday trade. You can see that tonight you're down a quarter of a percent. You're still stuck very much in all this sideways action. The overall pattern is one of bullishness with higher lows and higher highs. The market is fighting its battle at the 200-day average in the 18. You do recall I said to you, are we going to see what I call a KISS, K-I-S-S, where the 18-day goes to the 200 and turns back down? Or is it going to be a crossover where it gets over it and the market moves out on Friday to even a higher high to finish the week out? If that's the case, that would be a bullish event. Right now, these numbers are within, uh, what, 90 cents of each other? Unbelievable. But uh, I started telling you I thought this was going to happen three, four days ago. If you move higher, look for resistance at the upper Bollinger Band and breaks. Look for support, this 1809.30 to 1808.40, but be a bit cautious. If you take out this low right here of 1804.20, it could spell a problem for the market that suddenly it wants to revert and wipe out the longs that have been building here down to the 1780 level. In terms of uh, the slow stochastics, they are still pointing which way? sideways. They're just drifting along, not giving you an edge one way or the other. The gold-silver ratio still likes silver a lot. Remember, we were up here in the 96 level back in September. You needed 96 plus ounces of silver to get one ounce of gold. Now you need 75.62. Therefore, silver's become worth more money. And when you look at silver, first thing my eye goes to is it's overbought. If you learn the slow stochastics, uh, I teach it in my trading course, my full course, but any readings over 70 are overbought unless they're embedding and they're not doing it right here. You have the pattern of higher lows, higher highs. If you move higher, 2471 is the next resistance level. In the copper market, you got up to the combination of the 200-day average in gray and this deep black number, the upper Bollinger Band, boom, came right back down. Please understand that China's cases of COVID are probably fully out of control. People that are arriving, I read a report today of uh, people arriving from China and Italy, and the variant of the uh, COVID that they showed up with, they tested them. Uh, they didn't want people to come with COVID, obviously, but it was the Omicron variant, so they're not seeing something brand new. You know that there's going to be problems. Everybody that's got a border of worth keeping, they're going to be demanding tests that I can imagine from China, probably uh, two days before you leave. Within 48 hours of leaving, you have to be tested. I remember I did that in Mexico to get back into the United States. It's not difficult. It's easy to do. If you don't have the, um, the COVID, you can get on the plane. It's pretty simple. 
uh, in the Platinum, we've gone from a lower Bollinger Band in six, seven days to the upper Bollinger Band. This is what typically happens this time of year. Just whipsaws back and forth. The Palladium market bottomed out here, but it's having trouble going anywhere against the 18-day average of closes. And the dollar had an outside day up, and you came down today, took out that low. This is very unusual. If you've got my outside day course, you understand that. If the market's going to continue to do anything, it probably goes back down to 103. Uh, 23 right in that general area if it clears this high then back up here but the interesting part is you as we talked back here the market corrected and oversold condition went right to what i call the line in the sand the 18-day average of closes and ran out of steam that is so typical learn these tools you can use them this coming year and one of the biggest tools i have are the use of what I call the Enhanced Bollinger Band Course. Take a look at this, avail yourself of it, and I will see you over the weekend with your weekend review. You take care. Welcome, I'm Ira Rapstein, and I'm here to talk about my Enhanced Bollinger Band Course. Now, many of you have taken my regular charting course, and if not, you might think you know something about Bollinger Bands. As you know, Bollinger Bands are an algorithm designed to keep the market trading within it 95 percent of the time and on a chart it will offer on the top part resistance on the bottom support and the ideas the market will travel within them we know that sometimes it latches on to that band goes up or goes down well how do you play with that can you pyramid the positions off that type of thinking well i've applied all three of these into 13 different videos that teach you my concept of it and from that concept, you're able to work with weekly charts and or daily charts. The 13 videos, each about seven minutes long. The idea here is not to put you in school forever, but to teach. Now, if you haven't tried my complete futures research, I throw that in as well. Whether you've tried this or not, I think it's worth taking a look at. I think you're going to learn something from there. That research, by the way, covers twice daily market updates for you and access to what I call window envelope numbers, which I think are very important when looking at these Bollinger Bands. The next part is a trial to our charting software so you can make your charts look the same way that I do. It's that simple. Where do you go with it and how do you get all this? It's simple. You go to our website, www.iraepstein.com. If you go to the word education, everything you need is answered there. You can also call my staff. They'll be happy to help you get set up. I'm Ira Epstein on the road to your education.